MIDI functions in Cubase is a group of operations designed to solve some specific tasks. For example, most of you probably know how to dissolve a part by going to this drum part and come up to MIDI and dissolve part. Just tell it the process. And then all my drums are broken into separate tracks. But what if you start off this way with a bunch of drums broken into separate tracks or maybe synthesizers or any number of other MIDI parts? But you want to bring them back into one track. If you select all the tracks that you want to work with, hold Alt and Shift and hit Solo, then come up and select a destination track, making sure that your locators are set. If you go to the MIDI menu, there's a choice down here that says Merge the MIDI in the loop. If I select that, you get all kinds of choices here. You can explore any of these. But if I hit OK, now we get a new created event. It actually says Merged on it. And if we solo that one track, all our drum parts have now been placed into one MIDI event. Here's one that used to drive me crazy. I would get the perfect synth take. If you look at these MIDI notes, they're long connected to each other. But then when I would play the part, they would be cutting off and making short notes out of the way they sound. A little analysis of any of these notes by selecting one and kind of moving it out of the way reveals that behind the long notes are these tiny little short notes that were either a glitch with Cubase when it recorded the notes or my MIDI controller sending out a lot of extraneous MIDI information. But either way, every one of my recorded notes had these little doubled notes of a smaller value. And with many synthesizers, these doubled notes will actually trigger and stop the regular notes from ringing out the way you want them to or the way you expected them to. And to try to fix something like this, well, you could go back and re-record it, but if you've captured the feel or you put a lot of time into the original recording, you may not want to go back and do that. And if you move these notes, exposing where all these smaller little notes are, that's an enormous amount of editing to try to figure out where these little glitch notes were recorded in the first place. Fortunately, we have another MIDI function that allows us to select all these notes, go up to the MIDI menu, and come down to Functions, delete the doubles. Many times, all you have to do is choose this option, and now if we go back and look at our notes, I can see that there's no longer any little doubled note hidden underneath. And if I play the part, I have my performance with the captured feel, but all those little extra notes have now been removed. Knowing what these various MIDI functions are, what's available and how you can use them can really save you a lot of editing time and actually can really be a lifesaver. And if you're looking for a complete explanation along with step-by-step -step demonstrations covering the entire subject of MIDI functions in Cubase, visit the digitalaudiomanual.com.